big news that we're tracking as far as the electoral bonds case is concerned, where the Supreme Court is dictating the order on the electoral bonds case that is, has stated, and I quote, need electoral bond details from April 12, 2019, has also made a remark by stating that SBI must disclose details of purchase and receipt. So that's the significant development that we are picking up as far as what the top court has said. Um, in fact, it has also stated that uh, CGI to the SBI to submit electoral bonds purchase, political parties who receive contributions through electoral bonds from April 12, 2019. So that's the significant development. The CJ has also remarked that all details shall be furnished and they direct the SBI chairman to submit an affidavit on 5 p.m. Thursday, that is. Big news that we're tracking as far as the electoral bonds case is concerned, where the Supreme Court is dictating the order on the electoral bonds case, that is, has stated, and I quote, need electoral bond details from April 12, 2019, has also made a remark by stating that SBI must disclose details of purchase and receipt. So that's the significant development that we are picking up as far as what the top court has said. Um, in fact, it has also stated that uh, CGI to the SBI to submit electoral bonds purchase, political parties who receive contributions through electoral bonds from April 12, 2019. So that's the significant development. The CJ has also remarked that all details shall be furnished and they direct the SPI chairman to submit an affidavit on 5 p.m. Thursday, that is. We'll continue to track that significant development and all other stories here this Monday.